and welcome to this week's episode of Happily Ever Caffeinated, the weekly wedding video series where we get stupid high on coffee and talk about weddings. I'm your host, Jesse Stellick, co-founder of Photo Bohemia, and I am here today with somebody very happy, Danielle Calhoun of Black Sheep Bride. It's an online wedding publication that connects newly engaged couples with vendors and products that give back. Yeah. And in this episode, we're going to be discussing how to turn something that can be wasteful, weddings, into something that has a socially positive impact. Let's do this. I'm so happy that you're here with us today because we love you and Aww. your website. I love you too. Okay, good. Um, when we first were introduced to your website, I probably spent an entire afternoon on it. I'm gonna cry and just already. Don't cry. Hold it together. Keep it coming. And just re like read through like the design of your website and the purpose of your website really struck a chord with me. And so we really want to talk about why, like how you came up with the idea and what the purpose of the site is. Yes. Hit us. Sure. So Black Sheep Bride is all about connecting newly engaged couples in the wedding industry with giving back. So it started because I was in the wedding industry, I was a wedding photographer and also a humanitarian photographer. So I would spend my days in two drastically different worlds and um, I decided that enough was enough and that we needed to build a bridge and show newly engaged couples that they had options to be able to connect with vendors and products and organizations that could allow their weddings to be more impactful. Um, it's been really fun. When did you launch? We launched formally July of 2014, so 2014. it'll be two years this summer. You need to have like a little two-year maybe birthday party. We will. Nice. Every year we have a fun birthday party. Fantastic. So. And how do Every you... Every year. We've only done one. Every year. Yeah. It's cool. That's since <laughs> forever. Um, <laughs> how, do you, how do you find these people that are awesome that want to give back? Like how do you find products that you say that... You know, there are different products that you have on the site. How do you find a company with wedding products that are willing to give back? Or do you research the company? How do you do that? So a lot of what we feature is mainly social enterprise brands. And it's very inbound on our end. We have a pretty um, significant Instagram following that has been probably our biggest um, positive aspect of our growth. And they find us on Instagram and they say, hey, we'd love to connect with you. And a lot of it is either fair trade based wedding gowns or it could be not necessarily wedding specific that could be incorporated into weddings like um, bridesmaids gifts or yeah. groomsmen's handkerchiefs, things along those lines that um, make it really easy for us to be able to say, oh yeah, you have a social enterprise foundation, we would love to share your story. We have 12 publication partnerships over the United States which represent over 60 national events with various event-based brands. So we sponsor their events um, and then they kind of share our uh, mission with their audience. So it allows us to engage with roughly, I don't know, close to 30, anywhere between 30 and 50,000 couples throughout the year, um, separate from all the other couples that are just coming to us organically. And now, I haven't prepared you for this, but um, since you're, you have the history of a photographer, I know you probably <laughs> love stories. Have there, <laughs> you're like, oh, what are you gonna ask me? Have there been any stories that you've heard coming since you've launched this site from a bride that's had some kind of interaction or, or, or something with an awesome company or vendor that really stands out to you as something special? Yeah, uh, there was a couple in Atlanta actually that I found out about um, after their wedding happened that um, I met actually a few months afterwards that um, she found us through her roommate at the time was a wedding planner and said, hey, you guys should check out Black Sheep Bride. And she went onto the website and found a lot of resources as well as products that she incorporated into her big day and we featured her wedding and uh, shortly after she said I'm so glad that I found you beforehand I had no idea that there was that connection so nice. it's really full circle when those things happen it's a circle of life yes should we do the um, whole swing <laughs> I'm so happy that you came thank, thank you, you so much yes black sheep Bride.com. Yes. There's no crazy hyphenation. No. Nope. Blacksheepbride.com. Check it out. 
show some love because she's amazing and she's doing good things. Yes. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for this. This Absolutely. is awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Happy <laughs> caffeination. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's in my good. Mind. I like it. For the rest of the <laughs> Timba. No, Timba? Simone. Simone. Simba. 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 And Timber. <laughs> Tim Timon. Tim Timon and Simba. Yes. It's okay. It's too long. I have kids, you know. Always question with the Q. Questions help us learn things new. Question marks are very cool, especially when you're in school. Always question when you try. You'll find who, what, where, when, why. Question marks are very fun. Let's break them down now one by one.